Cool, so um, going to do just a short video blog today on the kind of things that you need when you're coming to altitude training. Um, it's going to be a little bit specific, I guess, to altitude training in Kenya because that's the only place I've been altitude training. Um, first things first, uh, before you even consider coming, you've got to think about when you're going to come and how far in advance you're going to make that uh, trip because you have to get a lot of uh, jabs and get some tablets and stuff like that before you even think of coming. So, as I said, you've got to go get yourself some travel insurance. That's always useful. Certainly could have done it on this trip. And there's a couple of vaccinations that you kind of have to get. It's a bit stupid to come here without them. Uh, any travel clinic will be able to give you all the information you need. But before I came, got yellow fever, and then just hepatitis A, hepatitis B, tetanus, polio, and uh, diphtheria. So there's some other ones that you can get. You can get a shot for rabies as well, but I didn't, uh, I didn't bother with that one. So fingers crossed I don't get bit by a dog. And there's another few things that you need to pick up. Malaria tablets, always useful. And I got caught out on the very first trip. I took them, then I stopped taking them, and then I got malaria. So definitely advice to take some form of precaution against malaria. Uh, got some. Diclofenac tablets as well, just for injuries. Uh, not sure if you can get them here, but uh, Guy Van Herp, my physio when I lived in Edinburgh, told me to always keep these in my gear bag, so that's where I always leave them now. Uh, got some Imodium, because it's quite easy to get diarrhea and get stomach pains and bloating and everything out here, so that's always useful as well. Um, what else? Again, some Dyson gel, always useful. And then just other, just some sports gels, just for injuries, because some parts of Kenya it's not that easy to find them, pick them up. Some arnica gel as well, it's always good. And then as well, it's always good just to bring a little travel kind of first aid kit. So you can get ones that have some syringes in it, just some gloves, plasters, medical bands, anything like that. It's advisable as well. You can end up in some very rural areas that don't have proper clean equipment, so that's always going to be useful as well. And then as well, some after sun, but you shouldn't need that if you bring your sun cream. It does get very hot out here, and you're a lot closer to the sun, we're up at 2,400 meters, so although you may not feel too warm some days, you can get sunburned quite easily. And other than all that kind of stuff, then it's just bringing lots of gear. Um, surprisingly enough, when we go out at 6 in the morning, you do need jackets a lot of the time. It does be pretty cold, hell of a lot colder than you would imagine when you're coming to Kenya. So it is important to bring some jackets. Uh, definitely on the other side of things, yeah, when you're going out at 10 o'clock and that, you need your split shorts because it does get pretty warm as well. Uh, some days you can get up into the 30s, so it's important to stay hydrated as well. And that's why I've got my shots, always good. Keeps the salts in as well, so that's pretty good. And when it does get that hot as well, it's always nice to get out, run the vest, that's my club vest, or leash, nice. Uh, but again, most of the stuff that we do here it's pretty basic, pretty rural, so there's no such thing as a washing machine, so you have to wash everything by hand. It can take a while, so again, bring a couple of vests, bring a couple of t-shirts, you're going to need them, um, and you will get through them. If you're training twice a day, three times a day, out here you really will get through your gear quite quickly, so it's advisable just to have a little bit too much, rather than too little. Play shorts as well, always good for the fast runs and so on. And just more t-shirts, mm, more t-shirts, t-shirts, and just a couple of things here you can get, so just like stretchy bands for stretching, that's always good, keeps you pretty limber, which is useful, spiky balls, haven't seen too many of them for sale in Kenya, so if you use them, make sure to bring them with you, and yeah, I'm a big fan of compression socks, so they're always useful. Bring them if you have them. Uh, yeah, loads of socks. Again, as I said, it does get cold. You might not believe it, but it's 
someone is giving gloves, so I want to bring gloves, bring hats, uh, more calf guards if you've got them. Uh, it's pretty hard to get proper physio treatment out here, so a lot of this stuff that you do at home, kind of as a luxury stretching and precaution, it's pretty useful just to do all of that out here when you can. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not a huge amount more that you need. Well, so we've got, got some chlorine dioxin tablets, so these are pretty useful. You can get them in most pharmacies. It's just uh, as a precaution if you're not sure if your water is clean or dirty. One of those tablets in, I think it's like two or three liters of water, just completely cleans it out, kills any bacteria, and then you can just drink the water away. And uh, we buy bottled water all the time, we don't buy it, boil it. So you don't really need to know that much. Um, got lots of time to kill, so you definitely need to bring that up. Definitely, you're going to get through a lot of films. A um, lot of DVDs, so bring some box sets, just some DVDs as well if you have them. Uh, do quite a lot of reading out here as well, so it's a good book, I recommend it to anyone. Um, so, yeah, you've got lots of time to kill, so you might as well do it just reading and stuff like that. Um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah. Got my hair trimmers. It's good for passing the time, open up the barbershop, you never know, could be successful. Um, sunglasses, definitely need sunglasses. Uh, again, you just get absolutely blinded some mornings when you're out midday for runs. And, well, camera, always good. Just take some uh, pictures home with you, show people what you got up there. Um, other than that, there's not really a huge amount more that you can get up there out here. I think that's pretty much everything that you can, can do, or everything that you need, whether you're at you training, you can get all sorts of stuff. Oh, heart rate monitor. If you wear one at home, definitely bring it out here. It will be useful, especially for the first few weeks, when you're just adjusting to the altitude and you're doing all your runs at a different pace. You can keep it track on your heart rate. And then, last thing is, you can't get the internet out here. Just a little mobile dongle, throw it into your laptop and it's absolutely fine. Um, that's everything that's in my gear bag for altitude training. Hopefully that was pretty informative. Cheers for watching.